I understand candidates that are losing by 57 to 70 points are getting together with Rhino Paul Ryan, Mitt the Loser Romney, Bill No Guts or No Talent Bar, and some broken political investors that will soon come to me, as most others already have. These failed candidates should have started by campaigning effectively, which they didn't because they really don't have the skill or the talent to do so. Romney, who today couldn't get elected dog catcher in the great state of Utah, should have beaten an absolutely failed first-term Obama. Should have beaten him very easily. If he and Rhino Paul fought as hard against Obama as they do against President Donald J. Trump, they would never have lost. They would have beaten Obama. But remember, Republicans eat their young. They really do. They eat their young. Terrible statement, but it's true. And that's the problem with so many in our party. They just don't have the loyalty and the strength to stick together. They go after people who are on their side rather than the radical left Democrats that are destroying our country. These people are losers, and the Republican nation must stop following their failed ideas and policies. They only help the worst president in the history of the United States, the most corrupt president, the most incompetent president, crooked Joe Biden. We don't want to help him. We have to get him out of office. S sorry, Republicans eat what now? He said they eat their young? Why? So two things here. First, clearly the teleprompter said eat their own, but because Donald Trump is an idiot with a tenuous at best grasp of the English language, he decided to suggest not once but twice that Republicans eat their young. And second, while we're on the topic of not being able to read teleprompters, I'd like to draw your attention to just one of the many times that Trump beat his chest about how talented he is with a teleprompter and how untalented Joe Biden is. Our country's been through a lot, and uh, even today, there's no teleprompter working. It's just nice. This has happened oftentimes. Now, if this happens to Biden, it's big trouble. If it happens to me, we get through it, right? We just get through it. All right. If it happens to Biden, we're in trouble. Although last time I checked, Joe Biden didn't claim that he was eating children, but hey, what do I know? And let's be clear, the frequency of these Trump gaffes has surged in the last few weeks. I get it happening a couple of times, but by now, we are way, way past a couple. This is what I mean. But I know you but never you paid, under your administration, you guys Iran. never paid ransom. Coming through, Brian, it's all coming through Iran, and Obama wants to, he doesn't want to talk about it. He doesn't want to mention, he doesn't even mention them in his statements. It's all coming through Iran. But you mean President Biden. So, uh, uh, but right no, no, now. I also mean Obama. What do you mean? I mean Obama and Biden, but I, I, Obama is Biden's boss, in case you didn't really know that. As you know, crooked Joe Biden and the radical left thugs who have weaponized law enforcement to arrest their leading political opponent, and leading by a lot, including Obama. It was, I'll tell you what, you take a look at Obama and take a look at some of the things that he's done, this is the same thing. The country is very divided. And we did with Obama. We won an election that everyone said couldn't be won. We beat Hillary Clinton. Now, you know, I used to, I used to call her crooked Hillary. And then they took a poll and they found out Trump was up by about 50 points. Everyone said, what's going on right here? They thought Bush, because Bush supposedly was a military person. Great. You know what? He was a military. He got us into the uh, he got us into the Middle East. How did that work out? Right. But they all thought that uh, Bush might win. Jeb. Remember, Jeb? We have a man who is totally corrupt and the worst president in the history of our country, who is cognitively impaired, in no condition to lead and is now in charge of dealing with Russia and possible nuclear war. Just think of it. We would be in World War II very quickly. Again, I understand if you confuse a word or two here and there, but in just the last few weeks, Donald Trump has suggested that Obama is the current president, that he beat Obama in 2016, that Jeb Bush got us involved in the war in the Middle East, and that World War II hasn't happened yet. At some point, it becomes apparent that maybe the guy isn't working with a full deck of cards here. And by the way, that point is so obvious that even Fox News' Jessica Tarloff pointed it out on Fox's air. 
And I put together some of Trump's latest cognitive beauties from the last 10 days. He said you need an ID to buy bread. Has anyone shown ID to get Wonder Bread lately? He said that he ran against Obama in 2016. He ran against Hillary Clinton. He warned that Biden will get us into World War II, which I'm pretty sure we already fought and won. And yesterday, he confused Jeb Bush and George W. Bush and said that Jeb got us involved in the Middle East. And then, of course, there are his authoritarian posts on Truth Social calling for the chair of the Joint Chiefs of Staff to be executed and saying that he's going to investigate media companies that he doesn't well, like. You know and can you imagine if Biden said, you know what, I'm going to look into that Fox News. This, they don't seem to like me over there. And look, none of this is to point out that suddenly Donald Trump might not be performing at the peak of his game here. I don't think any of this is news to anyone. But what it should tell us is that when Republicans wail on an endless loop about Biden being in cognitive decline, they are projecting. They are trying to distract you from the fact that their deity does not know who he beat in the last election, doesn't know when the last world war was, and thinks you need ID to buy bread. Not a great track record if your goal here is to claim that the other guy is the one who's mentally impaired. So the next time any of the right's willful accomplices in the mainstream media take the bait and make Biden's mental state the center of attention, ask them why they're silent on the issue of Donald Trump's mental state. Ask them why Trump gets a free pass. Ask them why Trump gets graded on a curve. Ask them when it says that Trump doesn't know who his own predecessors are. Republicans have certainly learned how to game the refs, but the reason is obvious. They have to do everything in their power to carry water for a guy who still brags about passing a cognitive test whose questions include identifying different animals. I mean, dear God. And finally, one last point on this. When it comes to Biden's cognitive abilities, we don't have to sit here and wonder whether he would be capable of doing the job because he's quite literally already doing it and doing it more effectively than any other president in our lifetimes. And don't just take my word for it because the successes speak for themselves. The American Rescue Plan, the Infrastructure Law, the Inflation Reduction Act, the Gun Safety Law, the CHIPS Act, the PACT Act, reauthorizing the Violence Against Women Act, codifying marriage equality into law, bolstering NATO, adding almost 14 million jobs, bringing inflation below 2% and the unemployment rate down to a 50-year low. Those wins not only speak for themselves, but they are a testament to competent leadership. Republicans, meanwhile, continue to take their cues from Donald Trump and can't even choose a speaker. The contrast here could not be more obvious. Before you go, I need some help. Please subscribe to the channel and do your part to help grow the progressive media ecosystem. I don't do sponsorships or paid ads, I won't ask for money, but just subscribing to this channel goes a really long way and it helps get the message out to more people. The subscribe button is right here on the screen. You can also subscribe to my Spanish language channel, which I made to reach those crucial Spanish speaking voters. That link is on the screen too. And finally, if you want to listen to my audio podcast, you can follow that link as well. Thanks so much for watching.